mics? Anybody got mics? Yeah, I got a mic. For surely, for surely, mic check. Look, if everybody, uh, if anybody believes in a Bible, right? I got that news for y'all, buddy boys. I got that news, you dig? Now, disclaimer though, because I got to be fair. If anybody does not believe in the Bible, you may disregard everything I'm finna say, right? Because I understand that it holds no weight according to your own circumstances, right? I fully understand that, right? Now that that disclaimer is out the way, let's get down to business. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verses 9 through 12, which states that it is a great, 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 great sin to eat shrimp, crab, and lobster. All right, this is in the book that you say you believe in if you believe in the Bible, right? Now, not only is it a sin to eat shrimp, crab, and lobster, right, but it states all creatures that live in the waters that do not have both fins and scales together, these are an abomination to eat as well, meaning it's a sin to eat whale meat because whales do not have both fins and scales, so it's a sin to eat that thing, right? It's a sin to eat shark meat, squid, octopus, alligator, crocodile meat, frog legs, right? <clears throat> a lot of y'all don't even eat this stuff anyway, so you ain't even tripping. But that would include all of the crustaceans at the bottom of the sea floor, right? The God of the Bible said to never, ever eat these creatures, such as um, coconut shrimp, butterfly shrimp, jumbo prawns, tiger prawns, crawfish. A lot of people, um, they love that crawfish boil, right? But crawfish, they live in the waters and they don't have both fins and scales together. So it's a sin to eat that, right? God said it's a sin, right? Um, it's also a sin to eat uh, uh, oysters, clam chowder, that's a fan favorite, and catfish as well, right? Because catfish, they have fins, but guess what? <clears throat> they ain't got no scales. These are all an abomination according to the God of the Bible, right? And my ending statement... Well, right, you, you, you questions... gotta keep reading, man. What you mean, what you mean? You're only in Leviticus, you got a long ways to go, but once you get over there uh, to Acts... Learn about the new covenant, and you learn that uh, yeah, Peter can eat any food he wants. Are you speaking about? They still don't Acts? want him. Are you speaking about? They Acts still don't 10? want him to eat. Uh, they still don't want him to eat like the the meat sacrificed to idols. But it's not like a big deal. It's just like they don't want him to like you know mess up his uh, his witness. If people do have a problem with it. Okay, okay. Are you, are you talking about Acts 10 in particular? Well, I don't know. Okay, well... well Talk about he, that vision where he gets it and there's this, these... The sheet in it? Animals right. that are coming, yeah, the sheet that's coming down. Okay, and yeah, that's he, Acts 10. Okay, so now, uh, you have you ever studied Acts 10? Because I say that's not talking about food at all. Have you ever read Acts 10 to see exactly what it's talking about? Like, if you ever studied it, well, not also, like read it, not like read it, because everybody reads also it, Also, but... Paul, also Paul uh, said the same thing. Hey, <laughs> if you do eat that, it's going to be okay. It's not all right. But if a brother, if it causes a brother to sit, don't do that. But it's okay. Mm -hmm. You guys, everything's permissible. Not everything's beneficial. So even if you want to act like Acts is saying that it's just about, oh, now we can witness to the Gentiles. There you go. See, still, you did that already. I appreciate that. Still, I mean, you're being honest. The Leviticus that. is a is an old co is the old covenant with the okay, uh, with so the early Jewish it, people. Okay, so so now that Acts 10, you we didn't even so have feel to go free into to that. eat all that delicious food. Okay, okay, so now, now that we don't have to go into Acts 10, right? Because you 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 kind of you killed it, right? And, and that was good. So, so now, can you show me where Paul said that we can eat anything that we want? Because that's what you said. Can you show me that in the Bible? Yeah, I probably could. I mean, I could show you what I, the area that I'm talking about, where he's talking about um, how it's still okay, guys. If you, you know, if you if you eat from the meat uh, that was sacrificed to idols. Okay. Can you show? Can you? Do you have the book, chapter, and verse of when Paul said that we could eat whatever we want? Do you have that? Because, because uh -oh. again, because again, I'm, a, I'm a, biblical, a biblical instructor, right, of the highest degree, right, beyond what what you call okay. a scholar, right. So if anyone has that, yeah. like we we'd like to read it, like you know what I mean, like because a lot of people kind of say things. I'm not, I'm not calling you a liar or anything like that. I'm just yeah, saying, yeah. like, what, what what we shouldn't do is just say some things. I could Bible. be mistaken, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, and not pull it up. You get what I'm saying? So, but do you have that? I, is it, uh, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. No, like I didn't know that was Acts 10. I just know that I've read Acts a bit. So, 
Right, right, that, and that's fine. That's fine. But but you know, know what? But, stuff, you, but you but you did know that it was speaking about the Gentiles, right? So that was the main point. Even if you can't quote yeah. the, on particular, that's good though. I, I that's that was good, right? So now, but now you made another claim though. You said Paul said we can eat yeah. whatever we want. So I'm just asking, do you have that book chapter? Uh, okay, I'll keep that too. Do you no, have that I would book have chapter? To look that up. All right. Okay. Okay. So, because I say Paul never said that, right? Because I don't see that in the biblical text, right? And there's a lot of people who, um, uh, it's not a lot of people's fault why they uh, misquote like Acts 10 and Paul. Because let me show you something. Let me, let me show you something. So here's here's the book of Psalms, right? I'll, I'll go to uh, one of one, uh, Psalms 111. All right. I'm gonna show you something, right? So here, so here, so I'm gonna read you something. So uh, this is why a lot of people can't understand the Bible when they read it. I'm not calling you any names or anything. I'm just saying the majority of people, when they read Acts 10, they tell me that we can eat, you know, shrimp, crab, and lobster. If they read something that Paul said, they'll tell me that we can eat shrimp, crab, and lobster. I'm gonna show you why people say that. The, God, the Bible tells you why they do that, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you two scriptures, two of them, two of them. Let me go to uh, Peter real quick, okay? And then I'm gonna go to Psalms. Okay, I'm gonna show you why, because the Bible explains why people uh, are inaccurate in when they present these things and say we can eat the, but the Bible lets you know why they do that, right? Okay, so here's here's the first part, right? So this is book of Second Peter, right? Chapter three and, and verse 15. It when says, did they change the nines for the UMP? That's interesting. Oh, so, hey, somebody told oh. me, the, the kid told me that last wow. round. I think that was in the update yesterday. Okay. That's why I couldn't play yesterday. Yep, somebody said that. He said that just today. I was like, what is he talking about? Did you say like they changed that was the last UMP match. to Nine Miller? Yeah, yeah, they yeah, did it's that. Nine they changed it. Mm -hmm. They changed Ooh, the UMP. Oh, it was like that originally. Oh, was it? Oh. No, it like, wasn't. It no, it wasn't. Out, oh, like, like, when what, it first what, came out, I believe. When PUBG like, first when came out? When it first came out? Yeah, I believe I it was. I didn't play it originally. Yeah, because I remember since, at one point I was like, why the hell is this 45? And I just kind of went with it. Now it's like it's 9 miller. Oh, it's, mm. Yeah, I've been picking up this 9 miller. Oh, and mm. they put these MP5Ks everywhere. Nice, which oh, I do I love. Yeah, them. yeah, I noticed that too. Yeah. They put the MP5. They had that in the, um, the other level too. They had that in uh, I grab this uh, MP5 uh, Deadston. Yeah. I think it's called Deadston. And that, that, that gun ain't in that level no more. So I, I like the updates. You know what I'm saying? And, and the, the, the energy drinks. I mean, you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, if the they, energy drinks look different. Yeah, they look different and stuff like that. So yeah, they made a they made a few. Uh, I think I'm still gonna grab this JS9. Hey, let's link up, oh, y'all. Yeah, let's JS link up. Is bad. Okay, so now let me show now let me show you why people do that. Okay, so here's I'm gonna read you two things, right? So here's Second Peter three verse fifteen. Okay, it says in an account. Now this is Peter speaking, right? Uh, and he's speaking about Paul, the scriptures of Paul, right? It says, and he count that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother That's Paul, so right? Also according to the wisdom given unto him. Right, given unto him, written unto you, as also the verse, the last verse, sixteen, as also in all his oh. epistles. You know, this is talking about Paul's writings. Like when you call it, when you call Paul, it says, speaking in them of these oh, things, are, they the back? are no, some things hard to be understood, be that car over which there. they are unlearned and unrest and unstable rest as they do also with the other scriptures unto their own destruction so peter said you might have to read me the nlt i, I wasn't understanding that I okay, i'll read it again i'll read it again. i'll read it again I'll transfer it that again. to the nlt so i can understand okay let me see do we have an nlt version here we should right we switch oh up. i thought you were reading it off your phone no 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 if you don't yeah. have an NLT, you could. No, I, I, I ain't you tripping. Can. I ain't tripping. I'll go to the NLT. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. You actually read it right out the book, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got the NLT right here. I see the Oh, you got the whip? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Where's the green at? Okay, so here's the NLT version, right? So, uh, and and let me. And, and we'll st well, then let's just stay in the NLT then. Let's just. Let's do do my other scripture in the NLT. Really going, huh? Just to keep it consistent. Okay? So. Go NLT here and NLT with this scripture. Okay, cool. Where is this? Okay, cool. Bridge over here. Okay, so this is this is the book of. I'll read it again. This is the book of Second Peter chapter three and verse fifteen. It says, "And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul." So it's talking about Paul here, right? Because a lot of uh, Christians they quote Paul. They don't really quote anyone else. They quote specifically Paul a lot, right? That's like the only person they quote. They don't really quote Jeremiah. They don't quote Christ. They just quote Paul, 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 right? 
he wrote a lot of the New Testament, right? But Peter warns you about doing this, right? He says, speaking, uh, he says, uh, excuse me, in the account of the long suffering of our, our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you, right? Talking about his writings, his, his epistles. It says, also in all his epistles, that's, that means the letters Paul wrote against, speaking in them, meaning speaking in these letters, in which some uh, things are hard to be understood. See what I'm saying? So Peter is letting you know that Paul's writings are very, very hard to understand. And most people can't understand them when they read them. You see what I'm saying? And it says, um, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, meaning you wrestle with these scriptures. They kind of tussle with them as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. So Peter lets you know that people who are oh, unlearned, shoot. people who are unlearned who read Paul's scriptures, that. right? Um, they wrestle with them unto their own destruction, right? So that's why kind of a lot of people quote Paul to say we can eat shrimp, crab, and lobster, but Paul never said we can eat shrimp, crab, and lobster. You get what I'm saying? And I'm going to show you one more scripture, right? Of why okay. a lot of people misquote that, right? This is book of this is the book of Psalms, out, chapter one, eleven, and verse ten. This is the last one. It says, "The fear of the Lord is the foundation of true wisdom. All who obey His commandments will grow in wisdom. Praise Him forever." So. What the Bible is saying is, if you don't keep God's commandments, God, the God of the Bible is not going to let you understand the Bible. You get what I'm saying? So the only way to understand gotcha. the Bible is if you are, if you're actually keeping the commandments. So people who are not keeping the Sabbath day holy, who are not uh, eating, uh, celebrating the feast of Passover, people who eat shrimp, crab, and lobster, people who eat pork, right? People who do these things when they open up the Bible. People who wear two garments of mixed fabric. There you go. People who wear wool and linen together, right? People who don't build embattlements on their roofs. People who eat from fruit from fruit trees before five years. All these things, right? People People who eat food sacrificed to idols, people who do these things and don't keep God's commandments, when they open up the Bible, the God of the Bible is not going to allow, allow them to understand it. So that's why a lot of people will quote Acts 10 and say we can eat, you know, shrimp, crab, and lobster when you, even though it was talking about Gentiles. Or people will go to Paul's epistles and say, hey, we can eat shrimp, crab, and lobster because Paul said we're in the new covenant or something like that. But Paul never says these yeah. things. You know what I'm saying? He never says them. You see what I'm saying? But even Peter warns you about that. Peter says, man, you keep reading Paul's epistles and you don't keep God's commandments. You're going to read your own death. You're reading your own death because you're going to you're going to There was you're like this sin. whole, but you know, the whole situation with Paul and and Peter. And then they had that kind of a uh, tussle there yeah, with the, right. the mm -hmm. Judaizers. Right. You know, the, almost the whole, do, you, do we want to fight those guys or no? No, no, I want to. We can. Yeah, yeah. We ain't gotta be. Come on. We can go get some. I thought there was three. I thought there was come three. Come on. Of, uh, let's go get them. Well, let's go meet up with Green at least. Because we can meet up with Green and then we'll okay, okay, attack. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So the whole thing there with uh, you know him, you know Peter coming in and there were some Judaizers there who were putting all these laws and these commands on these new converts that you know Paul had just established these churches and was telling them. And they even had this little conference. This was this famous conference where he goes down and talks to them, and they kind of agree upon the things that they're going to uh, right, tell right. these new churches what they have to do. And mm -hmm. all these Judaizers are like, "No, you got to. You have to be circumcised. If you're not circumcised, you're not obeying the Levitical law." And mm -hmm. Paul uh, specifically states, "No, this is this is what the big thing was. We're not going to uh, force the new Gentile believers to do that." Right, and okay, now, do you know why he said that? Because I know you're talking about according Acts 15. Do you know why Paul said that? Or, or excuse me, what, like, because like of the, the new I'm covenant through you know Jesus they, Christ. Nope, nope, I'll show you. All I'll right. show you why he said it. I'll show you in a, in a second. Hmm. I mean, uh, 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 watch here, I'll show you. We'll go to Acts 15. See, this another, this another point of like, if you're not keeping God's commandments, right, you're going to quote this incorrectly. The Lord's not going to let you understand this stuff, but... So if you start keeping God's commandments, watch. I'll show you why. I'll show you why. First, let me pull up. Uh, the reason why he said this is because of Genesis, in the book of Genesis, right? So I'll get that real quick. I'll pull that up. We'll read verse uh, here. I'm just getting it ready. Okay, cool. And then we'll go to Acts 15, because that's what you quoted. Okay, so here's the book of Acts, right? Chapter 15, and we'll read verse 1. Because you were right about what you said about that council, right? That was, that was, uh, that was uh, flawless of what you said. But the reasoning why... Uh, 
like oh it's a new covenant of christ so we don't have to keep that no more absolutely incorrect but let me show you right so here's the book of acts chapter 15 and verse 1 it says and a certain and certain men which came down from judea taught the brethren right and said except ye be circumcised after the manner of moses ye cannot be saved so there's people like you said there's people there's people out here telling me hey bro if you don't get your your thing thing chopped up man you can't even be saved right <laughs> so so th there was a tussle in this so so it says um verse two it says when therefore paul and barnabas had no small dissension uh dissension and disputation with them they determined that paul and barnabas and certain other ends should go up to jerusalem unto the apostles and the elders about this question so they was like okay paul and barnabas you hear these cats saying everybody need to get to get clipped up in order to be saved what y'all think about this so they said hmm let me let, let's go up to the elders and let's see what they got to say very simple to understand right so i'm gonna drop down to verse mm -hmm. uh five right it says, uh, it says, but there rose up certain of the sect of Pharisees, which believed saying that it was, needful, it was needful yep. to circumcise them and to command them to keep the law of Moses. So the Pharisees said, yeah, bro, you got to get them clipped up. Ain't no argument with that. You got to get them clipped up, right? Verse six, and the apostles and the elders came together for to consider the matter. So they all came together to consider the matter, right? And then we'll drop down to verse 19. We'll get to the point, right? Verse 19 is, that, now this is the conclusion of the matter. It says, wherefore my sentence is that we trouble them not, we trouble not them, which from among the Gentiles are turned to God, right? But that we write unto them that they abstain from polluted pollutions of idols, from fornication and from things strangled from blood, right? So like you said, they said, hey, bruh, after the council was met, they said, hey, bruh, just don't, don't trouble them with the whole clip of the uh, the, uh, you know, thing, thing. Just tell them to keep all the other commandments, right? So now here's why they said that. Here's the book of Genesis, chapter 17 and verse 10. It says, and this is the covenant um, that you and your descendants must keep. Each male among you must be circumcised. You must cut off the flesh of your foreskin as a sign of the covenant between me and you. Now here's the key point. From generation to generation, every male child must be circumcised on the eighth day on the eighth day that's when your circumcision is supposed to take place on your eighth day so now when there's people like 20 30 40 years old coming into the truth right even if you go get circumcised right you're still not keeping the commandment you know why because you were supposed to keep it on the eighth day now we all know as a child that's not up to you because you can't even think on the eighth day you can't even open you know you hardly can open up your eyes breathe think and stuff like that right so yeah, I've seen him. Oh, that was us. That was us. So the reason why they said that is because the, your parents are supposed to be the ones that have kept that commandment for you. So since you didn't get... Yo. I, didn't, I didn't hit... Since they didn't get clipped yeah. up on the eighth day and the commandment is to get clipped up on the eighth day, even if they get circumcised at 40 years old, they still didn't keep the commandment. So they said, don't worry about that. Just keep the rest of the commandments. Because even if you get clipped, you didn't get it clipped on the eighth day like the Bible says. You see, you see, do, you, do you understand now? Yeah. Uh-huh. And mm -hmm. you, you think that's why? <clears throat> that's for sure why. That's 100% for sure why. Because the law says, because that's why I read the law to you, because the law says when you get circumcised, it doesn't say that it's a commandment just to go get circumcised. It says you have this a commandment is to get circumcised on the eighth day. You're eight days old. You get what I mean? So that's that's not a commandment that you know you can keep for. Yeah, I'm coming up. That's not a commandment you can keep. That's a commandment. Knock him. He's coming up. Coming up. Coming up. Coming up. Coming up. Coming up. Anybody else in there? Over here, he's over here. Oh, he's already dead. Shit. There's another one. There's another one coming up. Uh, 80, 80, around the corner. I'll go with you. He's over here. He's on the left side. Left side. Left side. He could be behind us. Where you at? Where I you see at? him. I see him. I see him. He just went back inside. Right. Behind you. To your left. For sure. For sure. Got him. Got him. There you go. go. Nice, nice, nice. Good I job. think there's one more, I think. I think there's one more. He was instant, awesome. though. He was instant. He was instant. I think he insta, yeah. Yeah. But I thought there was one more, though. I don't want to be oblivious about that. No, he might have a point, man. I think there's one more. We're in circle, too. I, I like how y'all fight in circle. Hey, I don't like fighting. Like, trying to fight the fucking people. Facts, facts, facts. I'm with that. I rocks with that. 
Okay, so hopefully, hopefully, but not to, you know, you know what I'm saying, but hopefully you, uh, you understand that that's the yo, reason yo. why they said oh, that. Never you know what Cause still to this oh, day, right? right? You're supposed right to get circumcised to your eighth day, right? It's still to this I day. It's still that was a car right there. Yeah. Okay, I want to get in zone. Oh, we're, oh, we're not far. We're not far. We're not far. It just no, changed, we'll I guess. Like this. Like an the inch. Cars is gonna make too much noise. Yep. Yep. I wonder what else guns changed. So do you, do you understand though? I don't want to leave nothing on the table, right? As an instructor, I just want to be clear. Like even if you uh, disagree I mean, with what I'm saying, you can say yeah, I, 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 I don't, I don't saying, deal with yeah. that. Mm -hmm. uh, but do you yeah. understand? Like the 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 I commandment of I'm, getting yeah, circumcised. But I, I think that's the that okay. was the reason why uh, Paul said what he said. Okay. Well, do do you understand though that the commandment to get circumcised was when you're eight days old? Do you understand that we read that out the Bible? That's why I went to Genesis to read you the law. Yeah. Okay. So I now mean, I didn't we... know that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, since you read that, that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, if you get circumcised when you're 40 years old, did you keep the commandment? Did you, are you keeping the commandment? No, right? So it would make no it, it makes no difference if you get clipped or you don't get clipped because you broke it. You get what I'm saying? So the commandment yeah. is to get get clipped when you're eight days old. So that's why he said don't don't trip about that. But he didn't say don't trip about anything else. He specifically was that command. He said keep all the rest of them though. Idols, uh, you know, you got to keep all the rest. Well, of Well, that's what I was saying. That, that he them only mentioning it's almost like he's trying to, and he's. And he makes this big point, and like all throughout the letters, about the freedom of Christ against this law that could never be fully, uh, fully kept. That you, you're this, this slave to the law, or you're going to be a servant for Christ, and how you'll receive freedom in Christ for that. So, I don't know. I think he was talking about a little bit more than just the uh, circumcision. And when they repeated those a uh, few things, oh, there's a red box over there. The red 14 left. Yeah. Um, Game face time. Okay. Ooh. Get inside quick. Shot. One, get inside quick. Gotcha. I'm listening to you, though. I know we in war, but I'm listening, though. I'll switch this. I thought I saw one out there, but I didn't, I'm not 100% sure. Gotcha. Get a look. Man. Shit. Arrow point of view. Oh, I got one back here. Okay. The fence kind of fucked up my ping, but... Yeah, it looks like a team. Yeah, they're coming down. Somebody check the... 330 area. I don't want anyone blindside me. Alright. There's... Um, there's one dancing right there, but it's brown. That's coming from like 70 ish. Gotcha. Damn, the last battle is going to be where we at. <laughs> oh, yeah. Part of the plan. I don't have any visual <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they were veering toward the left when they were heading down from that yellow mark, so they could be by the 105 area at this point. <laughs> they were like just coming into the circuit too. Like was blue. Stay with us too. Nice I mean, you you, you close, but if you don't get popped, and then we. Get... Uh, eight alive. Got smoke here on seventy five, but I don't see movement. Or six of us, my bad. Wait, us four, us four, yeah. yeah. Six of us, my bad. So it's about to get narrowed down to the point where they know we're in these buildings. Facts, facts, facts. Ready for that shit, yeah. yeah. Right, so we gotta get ready for them chucking, chucking bombs. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'd do. Do I have any? Uh, Yo, who's got the vehicle? There's a vehicle coming this way. We got eyes. They're coming in.
Nice, nice. Got the full squad. Full squad. Watch it for somebody else. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're outside of zone just slightly. Keep that in mind. We'll be all right. Let's get this scrap over with and move into zone. Where'd they go? This car was right here, but I didn't... Green's got a mark okay, over there. We got 20 seconds, we got 20 seconds, okay? And green's found. Got green. Oh, right here, okay. Little frag over there, see how they like that. Got a uh, emergency cover flare also, I didn't realize I my hand last off for it. Oh, so I'll trip you up. I'll trip. Thank you. Don't understand how to put me in batteries. Come back. Mm -hmm.